what's going on youtube q back here again with another video for you and today's video i'm here to talk about these two miatas which one should you buy there's only one answer that's going to be a personal preference but behind me i got two 2024s the miata grand touring which is mine and zircon sam metallic and i also have the soul red club this is going to have the bbr package on it got the brembos the the bbs's and the recaro seats so which one should you buy I'm here to help you out. I can't make the decision for you because it's all personal preferences. But that's what we're going to get into in this video. And before we do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, browse the channel. Let's jump into it. The Miata. So let me start with my own over here. So the Zircon Sam Metallic Grand Touring. This one was about $36,000. Now, you can get the club for cheaper. They're around $34,000. But once you add the BBR package on there, it's going to bring the price up to about $39,000. And if it were the RF, it's going to be $41,000. So huge shout out to Mazda. This is the, the second Miata that they sent me. So we did do a comparison between these two with the RF. But this is a direct comparison because they're both soft top. So if you want to know about the RF, go check out that video. But here, we're about to go over some differences because... Depending on what kind of buyer you are, one of these will be a better fit for you. I'm here to just highlight that for you. So me personally, I'm getting up in age. I'm a middle-aged man, so the GT is the right one for me. Or if you live in Canada, you can get all of this in one package in other countries of the world too. The United States, we don't get the best options on here. We get some options in the Canadian market. I'm hearing you can get the uh, all of the, the sports, like the BBSs, the... I don't think the Recaro seats, but the Brembos on the Grand Touring minus the Recaros. But for me, the Grand Touring, the seats are one of the reasons, not why I chose it, but the features that it offers fits me more than the club. And we're about to talk about that. Actually, before we jump inside the car, let's talk about the exterior of the car. So I personally think that the club looks better than the Grand Touring. These wheels, I like these wheels. I'm in the minority because a lot of people hate these wheels. I think they look good, but I do think the club's wheels look better. The club just has a lot more aggressive styling to it. Like the front splitter is like detached, like on the Grand Touring, it doesn't look that good. It's a matte black. The side skirts are like a matte finish as well. It's kind of like a dull black on there. And it's not as aggressive as we're going to see on the club. So let's go on over to the club and looking at these brakes on here too. You got plain brakes. They stopped the car. They're not meant for the track, but that's going to be the main difference. Grand Tour, a more track focused car, but even the rear, like check out the bumper, like on the lower part of the bumper. Look at the club. We got these splitters down here, the diffuser part of it. What is that? A rear splitter? But yeah, we got that on here. Looks a lot more aggressive. On mine, it's just nothing. I'm going to have to add some of these. Get a little body kit, some some side skirts or something. Because this looks a lot more better. Especially with the gloss black. And then the spoilers. This doesn't even come with the spoiler as an option. So this spoiler was like a, I forgot, $400 option for a color match. The clubs, you're going to notice these by the black spoilers. They all have the black spoilers and the black mirror caps. My mirror caps on here are going to be Zircon Sand coming over to the club black. And this just looks so good. This so red is such a dynamic color, man. It's, I, I saw it in pictures, but in person, it's, it's like a holographic Pokemon card. It looks amazing. They both have these shark fin antennas, the same color as the car. These stupid radio antennas, like, why? You can, you can make these into one, but maybe it's for interference or something like that. But coming over to the club, we got the BBSs like we paid in full with the red Brembos on here. So that's going to make your track days. You can last. So I don't know if the Grand Tour would have some brake fade, but we got more stopping power. You can feel it on here, too. It just feels like a, a better brake, a more aggressive brake. And look at these side skirts, the gloss black. Those look fantastic. Even coming on to the front. Got the mighty got too close to the garage. You can't really see the front splitter Y'all can see it bear with me. So we so close but this front splitter goes all the way across where it's on the Grand Touring it kind of stops At one spot like right here, and then it's another one on the other side This splitter goes all the way across 
And I want one of these, but I don't want mine to look like a club because the club is its own car. I don't want to make a Grand Tour and look like a club. So that's going to be it for the exterior, the interior of the club. So this is where it's going to be different because we got the Recaro seats. And this is a very highly bolstered seat. It's a firm seat, slim seat. So if you're a, a wider person, the Grand Tour is going to be your option or an aftermarket seat. So Miatas do have some options for the aftermarket for seating. And should you happen to be on the taller side, these Recaro seats, I feel like they're lower because when I have my hair up in the bun, like in my car, my bun is like in the ceiling. And the club is not. It's I feel like I sit lower, so it's a better seating position in the club. So that's a huge bonus. That extra little half inch to an inch, that could be a, a deal breaker because a lot of people can't fit in the Miata, those that are close to the lower. But if you got these Recaro seats, that might be the way to go. So here, tall people, take note another thing so the roof in here i noticed it's louder in the club so i'm assuming the insulation isn't as good as the grand touring because i was on the highway talking to the wife in here and i had to like scream because it's just louder in here so if you want a quieter daily driver the grand tour and that's what the interior is about to be about as well so what do we have in here we do have the black bezels single no we don't have automatic climate control in here you got to do everything manually with the with the HVAC controls and as well as the lights too there's no automatic headlights in here on this car you have to remember to turn them on but if you do leave them on they will auto shut off but I don't know if you want to drive around with your your low beams on during the daytime because that kind of mess up the uh, the day daytime running lights but I don't know I just don't like to have to worry about that the one the GT you don't have to worry about it at all with the BBR package, you will get heated seats on these Recaros, so that is a nice touch to it. I'm not sure what the base club seats are like. I don't know. Drop a comment. Let me know what they're like compared to these Recaros. Do you like them? Have you compared both of them? Drop a comment. I want to know. So the black bezels, they're going to be around the vents. Hopping into the GT, we're the first thing we're going to notice. We got leather seats in here, and these are much more comfy, softer seats, squishy seats, and they do hold you in. They do a good job of holding in the driving occupant during sporty driving but those seats those are if you want to do any turn very hard those seats are definitely going to hold you in these are not going to hold you in as good as those but these are much more comfortable for a daily driver if you want a daily driver the gt is the way to go in my opinion some people don't some people can tolerate the loudness of it on the highway I personally, at this point in my life, that's not what I want to do anymore these days. But the GT is the trim for me. If I could get the the BBS is on here as well, like if I could get those options on this car, total package, I would love it. But this is what we got here in the states. This is what it is. They both have the Bose audio, but this one's gonna have a little more, just a couple more features that make this a better car to live with on the day to day. So you're gonna notice this steering wheel that's aftermarket, and I do have an exhaust on here. But these bezels around here, they're going to have like a brushed aluminum looking finish as well as the HVAC controls around here. So remember I mentioned we got the auto climate control and it doesn't work that well in here. It's like always blasting high unless you turn it like in the air conditioning. I have to turn it to like 72 degrees to where it won't blow on the highest setting all the time or just manually set it. So if you if that's what floats your boat, you might as well get a club. But and it also has auto zone. I don't even know how that works but we're going to have the headlights they're going to be auto you can have those turn on automatically when it gets dark that's a good feature to have which i thought mostly all modern cars had but apparently not the club miata and i believe it has adaptive headlights as well so when you turn the wheel i'm i'm pretty sure i'm going off the top of my head guys don't don't crucify me but i think the the lights turn with the steering wheel in this car so that's a nifty feature to have as well other than that, it's not a whole lot different. So with the top in here, it's much quieter than the club. Not This car isn't a quiet car to begin with, but this is quieter than the club just because I believe it has thicker insulation up here. I don't know why the club is so loud. Actually, I do know insulation. It's got to be. So this is the quieter option. Driving it every day, which I do, this has become my daily driver. Unless I got all the family around. So this will be easier to live with on a day-to-day basis. Seats are more comfortable, like they're softer, like on the long haul, 
the Recaro seats, unless you're very narrow, they're just firm seats. I don't like firm seats. I like softer seats. So this would be the choice for me. If you can handle firm seats, if you're not used to being in other cars with different seats, then it'll be great. Got to throw in my Integra. It's got horrible seats. And it's kind of like the firmness of those Recaros in the in the uh, club, but it doesn't have the bolster in. That's just terrible. But this is about Miatas. So this seat, it'll hold you in while being comfortable over the long haul. And the GT, we're going to get home link up in this mirror right here so to open my garage i can do that with the touch of a button right there that's not going to be on the club unfortunately close my garage i think creaky the seats in the gt are also going to be heated i can't recall if the club has it but this does have like the street sign alert like it'll let you know of a stop sign it, it recognizes the street signs just a little added luxury features on here not a whole lot, but it can be a make or break for a few people, those subtle mods. So that's going to be about it comparing the two. Which one is right for you? Take the information that I just said. Make your own decision. So the GT is right for me where I'm at at this point in my life. The Club Sport, maybe when I was younger, that would have been the one for me. But I do like the extra features that the GT does have and how it is more quiet and comfortable. Also, I don't have to worry about scraping as much just because the splitters, they aren't as aggressive. But I haven't scraped in either car coming up driveways at all, so it should be good in both cars. But if the splitters, if you live where the the entrance ramps to where you're parking at is pretty intense, then, I don't know, maybe the Grand Tour might be for you. But for driving pleasures stopping going well the power is going to be the same so the going is not going to be there this is going to be a lighter package as well so if weight matters to you this will be a little bit lighter probably negligible i don't know but if you want every 10th on the road course then the club is going to be for you and it definitely looks better too so i do wish i had these looks because i like looks a lot and i wish i could make my gt look like that actually i can in the aftermarket but coming out the box this just looks a lot better to me two good looking cars though so leave a comment let me know which one you like more which one did you buy which one would you buy where it's your choice to get a miata and our friends up north in canada and other markets that get all of it let me know if you got the gt with everything it has to offer minus the recaros or can you get this with the recaros is that even an option i don't know but that's all i got to say about that you guys remember to drive safe and peace out